most important thing in grounding and the whole reason that I've dedicated my life to this movement and this practice and this science, which we now know it is a science, is the fact that the body runs off of electrons, which is energy. This is the foundation of all life. This is the foundation of all creation. Yet we've been told to believe that we live in an actually a Newtonian model of the world, of the planet. And I believe that's false. I believe we live more in a quantum theory of reality and an electrical theory of reality. And with the idea of electricity is the fact that the body is electric. And that's what we've proven now with the science around grounding and earthing. My father, Dr. Steven Sinatra, was one of the lead researchers on this. And he himself published over 10 peer-reviewed papers and conducted multiple studies. And from these studies, we've determined that the body is electrical. And once we come from that perspective, healing in general, life in general, takes on a whole new level and a whole new awareness and understanding of our existence. So as I sit here in the forest, I feel the nature, I feel the beauty and the power of what's around me. And this, I know, is healing. This is an unconscious exercise. And what I mean by it being unconscious is that my brain is tuned into all the frequencies that are coming around and the vibrations of this forest. Each tree, each leaf is giving off some sort of energy. And humans, we were designed to be in touch with the earth. We've proven this now with science, that if you remove the earth or the frequency of the earth, which is the Schumann effect, it actually resonates at 7.83 hertz and oscillations of that. When this was removed in a laboratory setting, people wasted away. They no longer thrived. They couldn't sleep. They got sick. So as a human being, we actually have to have this Schumann resonance around us. So if we live in the 45th floor in Manhattan, or we're spending too much time on airplanes, we are, or you're an astronaut in space, you're not getting that Schumann frequency. And that's part of the reason astronauts wither. They are not thriving. But we've now figured out a way to give them this technology. Because at the root of it, everything around us that we are looking at is technology. And this may be hard to believe it or not. I believe that the body is one of the most sophisticated technological pieces of equipment that we can even imagine. Even the brain, it's electrical. And this electrical brain is communicating with the field around me. So back to the question of the forest, is it's taking in frequency and information. The brain is processing this. I might not be consciously aware of what's happening, but at a, at a level that's primordial in my body, it's understanding these frequencies. And these frequencies are assisting repair of my DNA. They're helping out any sort of function in my body that needs attention. It's an incredible intelligence system. Yet we've been living in a modern world. We've been programmed to live more in that type of aspect. Yet what we need at a core level is nature, is the forest, the oceans, the water. And it goes into multiple, multiple levels of what that is. All right, for me in my life, I actually schedule a forest walk. It means that much to me on so many levels as I know the healing benefits of it. So for instance, you can go to the doctor, we can go to the dentist, we can schedule a massage, we can do those other appointments. But I've stopped doing all those appointments. And the main appointment that I have in my life is nature every single day because I know how good it is for my body and I feel the effects from it. So two things that I did is I actually moved close to the forest, which is here in Germany in the Black Forest. And I also live part time in Greece on the sea. And I did that on purpose. It didn't happen overnight. Trust me, it took me like 10 years. But I saw a vision of me in nature grounding, earthing every single day and healing. And that's exactly what happened. Scheduling nature is important. And I want you to think about it like that. Like think about it as an appointment with yourself. Like this is self-love. This is giving yourself the energy and the substance and the fuel that you need. So when you walk barefoot in the forest or we walk with sandals or shoes that are grounded, and these are the newest technology of grounding shoes, 
you're connecting with two things. One, it's the frequency of the earth, which is 7.83 hertz. This is the frequency that Dr. Otto Schumann recognized in the 1950s. And the second thing you're getting are negative electrons literally coming in through the feet. When I touch something that is connected to the ground, like this fern or this moss or one of these trees behind me, instantaneously within milliseconds, I'm connected to the earth. That is the power of the skin and, and the, the substance of being a human body because we come from this. So when I touch this leaf right here, instantaneously I'm receiving electrons coming up through this tree and into my hand at a rate of trillions per second, absolutely quadrillions per second. And those electrons are giving me the fuel that my body needs. Now, where else do we get electrons? You get them from the air you breathe, from the food you eat, from sunlight, from almost anything that gives energy. And one of the best ways to do it, and this is free, is earthing. It's the easiest, it's the simplest. And all you have to do is go barefoot or touch something that's living. And when you amplify that being in the forest, you're getting that good clean air. You're detoxing your lungs from all of the pollutants in the, in the modern world. You're actually, when you're touching the earth, you're discharging negative frequencies from man-made frequencies of cell phone towers, cell phones, microwaves, Wi-Fi routers, all of these things the body is trying to process. The brain is a processor of information. It's basically a processor of vibration, energy, and frequency at all times. And when we can put in the right inputs into the brain, it inherently knows what to do. For example, just recently, a bunch of researchers out of Malaysia proved that when subjects were earthed, their brain function immediately went into an alpha state. And what does that mean? Well, you're no longer in a beta state of doing, working, creating. You're in an alpha state, which is the more relaxed state, the more intuitive state, the state where you get insight and you're actually able to repair and heal a body. So earthing has been shown to put the brain more in an alpha state. This is just one study out of multiple studies. We also have studies that have shown that earthing and grounding reduces your cortisol, which is the stress hormone in your body. So we're chronically stressed. We're actually addicted to stress in this world these days, especially Americans. And I was one of them. That's one of the reasons I left and moved to Europe because I could feel the stress in my body. And yet when I take a walk in the forest or I jump in the sea, that stress melts away as my body inherently knows how to heal itself and bring itself into an alpha state of being. That's the magic of it. So in a way, we have to reverse engineer healing. We have to think about healing no longer as a biochemical approach, which means take a pill, feel better. No, it's feed yourself the electrical nature that you need. And this is electrical nature because grounding and earthing the number one, the number one benefit that it does is it reduces inflammation in the body. And we now live in an incredibly inflamed state from eating the poor foods, toxic chemicals, the soup and the list goes on and on and on. Something so easy and free that's accessible literally saved my life. Like I can't even believe it. My unconscious mind can't even believe it because I had spent millions of dollars trying everything on the planet that was available and it didn't work. Actually, a lot of these therapies got me sicker. A lot of these doctors put me in another state of being that I had to fix another problem. And this is important, actually. If anybody's listening that is sick or not well or has a family member or friend that's not well, I've been there. And I have been there for years and how painful and hard that can be. And what I want people to, to understand is when we're caught in the normal medical model of healing, you're running to appointments, you're making appointments, you're paying the bills from these appointments, you're dealing with insurance companies, then you have to follow up with another doctor, get a script from a doctor, then you have to get a prescription. It's madness. It's actually causing more stress, which your body doesn't need, because the body does not heal in stress. It heals in peace, it heals in relaxation. That's what the forest, that's what grounding provides for you is a peaceful state of being. 
The body is so intelligent, it knows how to heal itself. All we have to do is give it that input and take away some of the other therapies that might not be good, even though they sound really good, and put in the ones that are working. <laughs>